Hello Sagittarius, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your September 2020 mini tarot reading. I'd like to apologize for not being able to get my <laughs> August videos to upload. I had a technical issue which I have somebody working on and some new equipment that hopefully will be ready for October. So I went back to the old way to make sure I could get these up. So oops, thank you for your patience. And let's see what's coming up. For you. Oh, and also thank you for all of the texts, emails, uh, notes, cards uh, of uh, asking how I am and I if I'm well. And I am well, so I appreciate your kindness and thank you so much for even thinking of me. So here we go. Let's see what's coming up for you. Oh my goodness. Come on, fingers. Here we go. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> I got it. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we started off with the Wheel of Fortune, which makes me feel or wants to tell you that things are definitely going to get better. And, you know, I'm going to say something, but I mean it in a good way, because you could take this either way. It seems like you're going to get what you deserve. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep, you too. Each of you. And so many people, when I say that, they cringe. But no, this is a good thing. It seems like things are definitely, you're going to feel like there's progress. And I'm not sure if that's at work or just in general. Um, and it might be different for different folks. But it says opportunities could be presenting themselves. And it says don't give your power away. If you're working from home, and I'm pretty sure if you are, you're probably working a lot harder even than when you go into work every day. Um, but the only good part is there's no stress of driving there, maybe. Or maybe that was your relaxation, I'm not sure. But it says that uh, in the work area, for those of you that are not working, it looks like opportunities could be presenting themselves for you. So pay attention and look around. And if you're not happy where you're at, look around. Because there's going to be different jobs of different types, especially with everything that's gone on in the world here lately. And it says counsel could be needed. And counsel could be a lawyer, could be a therapist could be a doctor, it could be friends talking. I just feel like talk will make things better this month for you. Um, over the next three months, God, I've had that several times too uh, today, it, there's going to be um, a series of steps that are going to um, show up for some of you for work, okay? Like first step, second step, third step, or it might be a way of going back to work, how things um, it might start out different than they were. Maybe your company is going to do a total turnaround. Could be. I'm not sure. But it says the magician's here, which means you're going to get what you ask for. So ask for what you need or what you truly want. Your intuition is going to be right on target this month. So pay attention to that also. And it says if you had travel plans, I'm afraid they're probably not going to happen. I hope they do. It might be a good time for a car vacation like the old-fashioned fa <laughs> old way you took a road trip. It says there will be reasons to celebrate this month for you, um, but change, different change, things that you celebrate. Small things are going to be even big celebrations for a lot of folks this month, which could mean family gatherings or just appreciating family in general. I guess there is only one there. Nope, there's two. Um, in the relationship area, it says that if some work is needed, now is the time to do it, and talk will make that better. But... Uh, Say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't talk in riddles. Um, speak from your heart and you'll be heard. It says, too, that this is a time for your wants, wishes, and daydreams to be brought into light. If you're writing a book, get busy writing it. If you're wanting to paint a picture, paint it. Whatever it might be, it says it's a good time for you to voice your opinion on some of the things you want. You've waited a long time um, and put things up on the shelf. It's a good time to bring them down. It says learning is a good, uh, this is a good month for learning. <clears throat> or putting in process things you want to learn. If you were thinking about taking an online class, might be the perfect time to do it. Might be a good time to teach a class if you are a teacher. And you'd be surprised. Your help might be needed for sure. Um, it says there will be things going up and down. Might be one step forward, two steps back. But that too is going to change. We are going to, you know, we're going to you know, be all for one and one for all. Things would change a lot quicker if we could be. And maybe that's what we need to know or maybe that's what we need to learn you're nobody's fool um and you're not don't be foolish now you know wear your mask wash your hands do whatever is necessary to keep you and your family safe and others and it says we can't change what's already happened we can only work with what's left and if we've learned from the changes of the things that weren't so good um that will help us now, but we also can really appreciate what we had before that might not be there anymore. So it's a double-sided sword. Some 
for some people it's one way, for some it's the other way. But new beginnings are definitely possible. Don't hold on to anything of energy so tight that it dissipates or disappears. That's love, money, things like that. It says new opportunities will present themselves. <clears throat> Be on the lookout. Hey, keep your eyes and ears open because they might be real subtle. You might get a sign. Maybe a butterfly will land on you and say, well, it's time for transformation. Or whatever it might be. Maybe there's a hawk flying around. It's got a message for you. Messages come in different ways for different folks. But remember this. You are a chariot, one who achieves greatness. And yet maybe you can't go on the vacation to London or to... Uh, you know, the Caribbean or wherever, but you could have a nice vacation at home if you really wanted to. That feeling of being alone even when you're with people, if you voice your opinion, that too could be a little bit different and not quite as um, upsetting to you. Um, because when in a quiet time, that's hard for some people because there's nothing louder than silence to those that aren't used to it. So enjoy your time of quietness. Meditate. Get your feet out on, the, on Mother Earth and uh, soak up some of her energy and see what happens. Take care of yourself first and then you'll have a lot more to give others. There's already something in the works for some of you regarding work. You know, maybe you're worried you're not going to get called back or maybe your company's going to close or maybe it already has, but there's other things that will be available for you. Make the best you can do with what you have right now. Use that strong Sagittarius energy that you have Spirit's got a plan for you. You know, your prayers are being heard and your excuses are gone now as to what your, uh, you know, why things are the way they are. We don't know why they are, but we have to work with what we have. It's almost like an apprenticeship. You're going to learn how to get through this. Alms dispensed with justice. The money will come. Your needs will be met. If you can conceive it and believe it, I'm really sure it could happen for you. So don't be afraid. Fear brings more of what we're afraid of. And it's hard when things aren't topsy-turvy to have that positive attitude to move forward. And with that said, Sagittarius, I hope the rest of this month, September is good, November, October, November, December are really good for you because I think we're going to make it through just like we have always before. So take care of yourself. I appreciate you dropping by. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss, and hopefully I'll see you again next month.